We want to say a huge thank you to the players of the People's Postcode Lottery who've supported War Child with over £10 million in unrestricted funding in the last five years. Because of you, we've been able to reach tens of thousands more children in countries affected by the world's worst conflicts. Here's how. Donations are the lifeblood of any charity. We couldn't exist without them. At Warchild, we want to make sure you trust us with your donations. Sometimes donors like to know that their money is going towards a specific project within a charity. For example, a conflict in a particular country. This is called restricted funding. When donations are not earmarked to a single project or programme, they're called unrestricted. It means they can be spent in the best way possible by our team who are experts at understanding the needs of children affected by conflict. So, why are unrestricted funds vital? For War Child, unrestricted donations mean that we can keep programmes running even when there's no official funding available from governments or other institutions. It means that resources can be deployed in emergency situations or when new conflict arises. The money can be invested in improving the way we work. Donations of all kinds are vital, but we couldn't be as effective and help as many children if all our donations were restricted in where they were spent. And we owe it to the children we help to be as effective as possible. We've developed a way to transparently show you how we spend your money. By giving an unrestricted gift, you're making an investment. Here's what happens when you donate. We distribute it across our organisation in supporting children, operational costs and fundraising. For every pound invested in fundraising, we will raise a minimum of three pounds in return. This then goes back into our model, enabling us to improve our programmes and support even more children. Investing your trust in War Child means that together we can reach more children whose lives have been torn apart by war. For more information, please visit www.warchild.org.uk.